Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darth Mohawk Show and I'm your host Darth Mohawk. Today I'm going to be showing you where to find all the warp zones in Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. And I will be util utilizing one of my save files to do so. You're going to be seeing only the finished product, but I assure you I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting and pasting. As soon as I press start on 1, 2, which obviously is where the first warp zone is found, then um, that's where the cutting and pasting starts. So without further ado, let's go. Finding the first warp zone is fairly simple. All you have to do is do like in every other Mario game in existence, and go over the top in World 1-2. Here it is! Ah, uh, here's where the warp zone is found, okay? It's a little bit tricky because you have this buzzer beetle to, beetle to contend with, okay? But once you've found this little brick, you can break a hole over here and climb your way on up. Luigi players have a little bit of an easier time because they can do high jumps, okay? So once you're up here, you just kind of do your merry way, take a long jump. And this is the warp zone to world 3. Okay, the last warp zone in world 1-2 is found in the same place that you found the first warp zone, except a wee bit more different. In this case, after you make it over the top pipe, what you're wanting to do is go down this one. And it leads you to this very strange area that has lava. All right, those are green drop plants. They're not evil. What you want to do here is do a couple of sliding jumps and break some bricks while trying not to fall into that little gap. Do this successfully and you're good. If all else fails, you can take advantage of the slide underneath blocks glitch. All right, once you've found those two invisible bricks, you can make it over the top of this wall and this is the warp zone that leads straight to World 4. Okay, the next warp zone that we're looking at is found in World 3-1. However, unlike every other warp zone, you don't want to take this one. Why, you ask? Well, it's found in this pipe. You'll go through a little bonus area with a working cannon, gather some coins, and you will arrive here. What's so bad about this warp zone? Look, welcome to warp zone 1. It takes you straight back to the beginning of the game. That's no good. So in case you don't want to suffer that indignity, they offered a little hole that I'm standing next to. You can throw yourself down to kill yourself. Okay? Um, also, if you somehow manage to get over the flagpole on this level, you will end up getting here, because that's where they hit it. Yep, this sea of vine that I'm clinging to right now, that's the warp, next warp zone we're trying to get to, okay? I believe I showed you how to get to it without using any words. Just hit that brick. If you're large, you can just break through, I suppose. But first, you have to grab some money. Now, that's never a bad thing, now, is it? Nah. Grabbing money's good. Now, if I had to hazard a guess, I would probably also guesstimate that if you went over the flagpole on this level as well somehow, then you would end up being able to get to the warp zone as well. Anyway, you fall down, and here's the warp zone to world 6. Alright, here's where the next warp zone is. It's in a pretty typical place. Go over the top of the pipe, you get to the warp zone to world 7. Alright? It's pretty easy to get to, especially since they provide you with an invisible power-up at the beginning of level 5-2. If you just go right up against the wall and jump, you'll find it. Yep, here's the area for the next warp zone. They stuck it in that block. That one. Once you hit it, it's pretty easy to get onto an escalator platform and climb on up. So you climb up. Grab a few coins, if you so desire. Make the long jump, and you're there. 
Here's Warp Zone to World 8. Here we go! I remember somewhere around here, there was a pipe that you could go down. Maybe it's this one. Yes, it is! Don't go down this pipe, like I did. It is a terrible idea! And the reason that it is a terrible idea shall become clear shortly. Instead of going where you want to go, e.g. farther on to the game, you'll end up taking this backwards warp zone which really takes you straight on back to World 5. Now it's not so terrible because in 5-2 there's a warp zone that leads to World 8. So... But whatever, just don't do it. Here, the only option is to wait till you run out of time. Okay, the next warp zone is in World A2. Okay? It leads to World B. But if you want to get it, you're in for quite a trip, because there's only one power-up in this level, and I got it. And you kind of need to be large. So, if you did, if you uh, brought your own, you might be out of luck. I mean, if you didn't bring your own, you might be out of luck. Uh, however, if you manage to get big, you can just break this crack right over here and just sail straight on through the rest of the level in peace. This will take you way back here, warp zone to world B. The last warp, the next, not last, but next to last warp zone is in world A3. All you gotta do is get somehow over the flagpole, whether it be by taking the spring or by crashing into that paratrooper. It leads to World C. Alright, the very last warp zone is, in, is actually stuck in Castle B4. It's pretty easy to get to if you know what you're looking for. Basically, just keep on trucking through the level until you see lava, then go down the pipe. It'll take you straight to the warp zone, to World D. One last thing, people. If you find yourself taking any of these warp zones, you will not be able to access the Secret World 9, regardless of how much, how many times you game over, or how quickly you complete the game, okay? However, if you've already unlocked World 9 because you're playing on the All-Stars mode and you can get there, then taking your Warp Zones later will not prevent you from getting there at a later event. Have fun! Happy Warping! This is Darth Mohawk, saying good day to YouTube.